Hello everybody and welcome back to Ultimate Sims Guides. My name is Taylor and in today's video we are going to be talking about the hidden world of Sylvan Glade inside The Sims 4. But before we get started, I would just ask you guys to please subscribe to this channel. I've actually gotten quite a few new subscribers, so welcome um, over the Christmas break. And I am so excited that you guys are here, so thank you so, so, so much for hitting that subscribe button. So let's just jump into Sylvan Glade. So The Sims 4 is really filled with a ton of little secrets that are there to be discovered and you don't really know that they're there. And I honestly think that these are a necessity for all Sims players to figure out at some point even if it is because they saw this video and learned that it existed, but to be able to go there and see all of like how beautiful these worlds are, it just really is one of those experiences that I think everybody needs to have. Personally, Sylvan Glade is one of my favorite hidden locations because of how insanely beautiful it is and where you enter the location from. So the first thing we're gonna discuss is where to find the entrance to Sylvan Glade. The entrance to Sylvan Glade is in a tree that's located in the lower cost area in Willow Creek. So in that bottom right hand corner, there's the four houses including the BFF house and then the three empty starter homes that came with the base game. You can travel to any of these houses and you'll be in the right neighborhood to go to the entrance to Sylvan Glade. You'll find this super special tree that is located right next to the lot known as Crick Cabana. You honestly can't miss this tree. It's surrounded by all sorts of beautiful colors and the tree itself even looks a bit like a knot. So you can see that we're traveling here in the winter and even in the winter, you can see that this tree is not normal. And another thing is that when you zoom in and out, all the other trees will disappear, but this tree will stay. So you know that there's something special about this tree. So once you locate this tree in Willow Creek, it is not the end of your adventure. You now need to interact with the tree to be able to open up the entrance to Sylvan Glade. The first thing you'll be able to do is view the tree. So your sim will just kind of look around, look at the tree. Um, you might have to do this more than once until you'll be able to water the tree. So that's the next interaction. You also may have to do this more than once to unlock the next set of interactions. Um, it really depends. So then after you water the tree a couple times, you'll be able to do some more fun interactions. You can chat about the roots or compliment it on its leaves, and you'll do these interactions until the option to explore pops up. Now, just because you've got the explore option does not mean that you're going to be able to enter into Sylvan Glade. Now, before we go into this next part, I just want to say it's kind of like spoilers. If you want to figure this next little bit out on your own, because there are different options and you might not get in, you may just want to go find the tree, get to the explore part, and then do it on your own and stop watching this video. I give you full permission to click out. So when you click explore in the trees, you'll be given some pop-ups that will force you to make a series of decisions. You can answer these as many times as you want until you get it right, or you can just use the answers that we already know are correct by trial and error that we have done. So the first answer is going to be to follow the sound. Then you're going to choose downstream. Then you're going to choose enter the mist. And finally, you'll be able to travel to Sylvan Glade. I know that a lot of people do like to figure these kinds of things out on their own. So that's just why I added that little disclaimer in there. So as you can see, Sylvan Glade is one of the most beautiful worlds. It's pink and purple and lush and beautiful and there's a waterfall. And I honestly just think that this world is so gorgeous and it's something really cool and a really good place to get screenshots if you are making your own videos or just really cute captures that you can keep if you're really into Sims like me. Maybe you want it as the background on your computer, I don't know. Whatever you wanna do with how beautiful Sylvan Glade is. Since this is a hidden location, the things that are going to spawn, like the frog tree things <laughs> um, and other types of things, are going to actually be of a higher quality than things you may just find, let's say, in Willow Creek. This is a really good place to go if you are in the collector aspiration and trying to finish that. So you'll be likely to find plants like cherry trees, lily flowers, bluebell flowers, snapdragon, strawberries, mushrooms, and basil. And you can also find the rare tree fish if you have a high fishing skill and you use, you use either the pond or like the little lake situation that's in the back of Sylvan Glade. One thing to note that if you want to go to Sylvan Glade, you are going to have to use the bathroom before you get there if you want to spend quite a bit of time because your sim will eventually have to pee and there are no facilities. Um, you might want to bring some food in your inventory just in case any of the actual edible plants aren't available at the moment if you have seasons. Yeah, it's definitely not some place that you'd spend all of your time, but it is a really fun place to visit once or twice. Once your sim has visited Sylvan Glade once through the tree, you'll actually have that entrance open to your sim forever and you can just travel there quick and easy through the opening in the tree. When you're in Sylvan Glade and you would like to go back outside of Sylvan Glade, you know, you might be sick of the pinks and purples, um, you can just click on the tree inside of Sylvan Glade and tr click travel home and you'll be sent back. 
Also, if you have The Sims 4 Spa Day installed in your game, and your sim manages to get to level 7 of the wellness skill, they can actually teleport to any of the hidden worlds like Sylvan Glade or Forgotten Grotto without having to actually go to the entrances while they're meditating. So you'll get one of those meditation stools, get your sim to meditate, and then you can click on them and choose teleport to and choose Sylvan Glade. And that's kind of a fun little weird thing. I love when the Sims team adds like quirky ways to get places and things like that, because who would have thought that like the wellness skill and secret worlds would be together, you know? It does, it's a weird one. If you really are as obsessed with The Sims as I am, you want to make sure to travel to all of the hidden locations at least one time. They are really impressive and really cool, and it's a lot of fun that you actually have to like do something to get into them. I really hope that you guys will follow this guide and go to Sylvan Glade and let me know of your experiences in the comments down below all about Sylvan Glade. And in the near future, I'm also going to be posting a video about the Forgotten Grotto. If that's already come out, I'll be sure to have a link in the description or you can just go to our channel page and search it there. Um, Forgotten Grotto is another one, but you do have to get to level 10 of the handiness skill to get there, so it's a little bit more complicated. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button and let me know that you enjoyed it. It really helps get this video seen by more people, and I would greatly appreciate that. And also, please be sure to subscribe to this channel if you aren't already, and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys, have a great day.